Okay, this will be a funny one. I don't know how this one's going to look. We'll soon find out. Enlargement. I wonder how big we're going to make this. It's going up 200. Oh, a stupid user interface. Really clumsy. We're going to leave the contrast alone for a change. We don't want to have too much contrast for this one. This one's too contrasty, I think. So let's see what we can do. We're going to leave the colour balance out. Okay, what is this one? This one's an interesting one. I'm wondering if there's any more that we can do. So actually... Um, Maybe we can add a background colour if, if it's not going to be, if it's glossy enough. It's not glossy, but I don't think it's totally matte either. So let's see how we go with this. This here is, okay, I just put a new battery, new generic battery um, with this. This is in the, in the little plastic box that it comes in. And the company that I bought the battery off is called Battery Business because my Galaxy Nexus batteries became unavailable from Samsung. So we couldn't use Samsung, so we use a generic. And this is generic. This is obviously the brand. So let's see how it goes. So I basically bought eight batteries of this kind from Battery Business. And Galaxy Nexus batteries don't typically last. So this is my second replace my second generic battery uh, I think I've had my last generic battery for almost a year I bought eight of them anticipating that they were gonna wear out quickly <laughs> but they still do a good enough job they keep the phone going so anyway this shitty looking original has just thrown has just got there's something nice now that looks really brilliant that's come up more better than I thought first go as well so we'll just throw that on the recycle pile. I just can't believe how good this looks. It really looks nice. And that little bit there, a little flash of colour. Sometimes you do get some really good results when you least expect it. So now it's time to just get this ready as a master copy. We're just going to kill off the 200. I wasn't expecting this to be a really good demo. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be. Whoops, no, we don't want auto-rotate. It's on. It'd be good. It'd probably be good if we didn't have it on because we don't normally want our things to rotate. We're just going to leave out the background. We're going to darken the text, and we're just going to go here and copy density. We're just going to put it in the middle. The color balance is staying default, I think. I wonder if we're just going to do what we normally do with our colors and just add them in whoops <laughs> I think the black is going to stay there we don't want to make don't want to make the dark blue turn to black <laughs> if we can avoid it so let's see how we go so yeah this has come up a treat so far the master copy so the magenta that you saw was the background color so obviously the background colour worked well this time. So let's see. Whoa, that looks even better. Now you can see it's darkened and the blue looks good. So I think, yeah, that's our first quadrant. And we're gonna add an we're gonna make another. Okay, that's our second normal copy. We're just going to put them together, make these into a four-way mirror image as I normally would. Just going to line these up just as much just as we can. And we're now going to print off two mirrors of this. So we're just going to push that along. Stupid user interface. I'm going to go here and punch off two. Okay, finish, 
and start three step Konica Minolta process. Out it comes one, then two. Okay, they've come out. These are our two mirrors for this interesting, unexpectedly good job. So let's see if we can make them line up neatly. This is the tricky bit, trying to line the pieces up. This one can go in a bit. Just a little, just a little. Okay, final piece goes in like that. It's a little bit on the curly side, guys, so just understand that. So I think that, so there you have it. I just can't believe how well that turned out. Fuck me dead.